Hello, how are you? Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired, Mayra. Why? Yeah, it's Monday. Monday. I'm manejando. Ah, ¿cómo decimos manejando en inglés? ¿Cómo decimos manejando? Right, right. Driving, excellent. Driving. driving. Uh -huh. hey, pero no venís hablando y manejando, sí, Mayra. Yes. No, Mayra, vas a causar accidente. Vamos a verte ahí en las noticias. Uh -huh. No, no de eso, no. Ok, ok. Good, good. Estás usando eh, lo inalámbrico, ¿verdad? ¿Voz alta o algo? Sí. Ah, ok. okay. Con los inalámbricos. Ok. Perfect, perfect. Good. Okay. So, let's take a look. How was your weekend? What did you do? Mm -hmm. and how was your weekend? ¿Qué tal estuvo su fin de semana? What did you, what did you do? ¿Qué hicieron? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Give me some Descansar. Working. Working, Work? mister. Ok. Unos working. ¿Y qué es lo opuesto de working? I work it. Ok. Mayra worked. ¿Y qué es lo opuesto de worked? Uh, relaxed. ¿Cómo se dice? Relaxed. Okay. Exactly. Relaxed. Ok. Uh -huh. Es lo que dijo Wilfredo. Wilfredo, no. Wilfredo viene al suave. La llevó. Wilfredo, relaxed. Uh -huh. Good. Good, Wilfredo. Ah, uh, look at Victor. There's the answer. My weekend was fine. I was at home all day. Hey, excellent, Victor. Watching Netflix, watching YouTube, watching soccer. What did you do? Mm -hmm. uh, working in my house. Evening. Victor, you worked in your good, house. Good evening. Good evening. In my no. house. Somebody else is, is talking. Eh, fíjate que estoy buscando eh, que se sigue Hello. en el house, pero solo vos estás activo. Ah, tal vez era Ana. Tal vez era Ana Melano. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. My, my weekend was fine. I be at home all day. I was watching some movies. And also I watched the Grand Premio from Mexico from Formula One and and also I was I was I was sleeping all day. Honestly my weekend was really very relaxed. Wow very nice good relaxing weekend Victor congratulations congratulations good okay alguien más que quiere compartir how was your weekend what did you do My daughter was sick and I went to the doctor. Oh, and is your daughter okay, Mayra, or continue sick or what? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, okay. So in this moment, sick? Yes, yes. Okay, continue sick. Okay, good, good. Okay. Alguien más? How was your weekend? What did you do? And me? Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, I visited my grandmother and I worked a little in my house. Ah, okay. And where is your grandmother? Where does your grandmother live?
in Aguachapan, in San Miguel. Where does your grandmother live? My grandmother lives in Lourdes, Colón. Oh, okay. No está tan lejos. Or, or yes, o, o vos vivís en Santa Ana o algo, no. Uh, no, I live in Lourdes, Colón, too. Okay, it's close, close to your grandmother. Okay, good. Good. So, today we're going to continue. Si se acuerdan, vimos cómo hablamos de what is your schedule, o sea, sus rutinas, lo que hacen, okay? This was the last topic, the last topic last week, okay? What do you do? How do you see? Today, we're going to continue with our partners in 1.13. Here, we can see 1.13. Here is the example, Brittany Davis and the schedule number one, number two, number three, we put in the correct order, all the activities. With the partner, we are going to do Joshua Burns and we are going to do Maya Black. And you put in the order number one, number two, number three, four and five for the different activities. Okay. Is okay the activity? Any questions? No. Okay. Perfect. Then with it our partners. Okay. Let's try with our partners. 
Okay, any questions? No. No? Okay, let's check the answers then. Let's make sure we have the correct, the correct answers. Okay. Okay. Okay, for Joshua. Joshua, he has breakfast is what number? Number three. Number three, okay. He starts work? Number four. Four, okay. He eats dinner? Number five. Number five. He gets up? One. One, okay. He goes for a run. Number two. Number two. Okay, good. What about Maya Black? Maya Black, she has dinner. Uh, five. Number five. Okay. She finishes work. Number two. Uh, four. Uh, no. Number uh, la number in la primera no es number three. See, number three. Yes, it is. It's number three. She has number dinner three. number three. Okay, so she has dinner number three. And then she finishes work. Number, number two. two. Number two. Yeah. No, bye. Number Gemma? two. Number two. Three. Yeah. Okay, all right. She goes to bed. Number five. Number five. Okay. She goes to work. Number, Number one. one. Number and then she goes home. Number four. Number four. Okay, let's check. Ah, yeah, si era esta. Correct. Three, two, five, yeah. one, four. And here, ah, the correct. Three, four, five, one, two. Okay. Cualquier tipo, si no hicieron en la plataforma. Tomen la captura de pantalla, si no lo hicieron en la plataforma, ¿ok? Deberían de estar al día en la plataforma, pero, ¿ok? 1.13, this, and then 1.13 for here. Ok. Yeah, I really did. Good, good. Then, let's continue, guys. Today, we're going to be looking and learning vocabulary for houses and apartments. Today's objective is to talk about places in a house and apartments. First, let's listen to the vocabulary for the rooms in the house and for the rooms in the apartment. A kitchen, a Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening okay, and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary okay. that we heard. I would like for you to describe. First, let's look at the vocabulary, right? Let's be clear the vocabulary. Okay. First. Aquí vemos varios cuartos de la casa. Por ejemplo, aquí ve garage, right? Vemos laundry room. ¿Qué es laundry room? Lavandería. Lavandería. We, we can clean the clothes. Yeah, exactly. The washing machine and the dryer. Good. Yeah, here we see the word hall. What is hall? No. Um, this when we receive uh, visitors. That's right. That's good. El pasillo. That's the hall. 
Okay, very good. That's the hall, okay? Those are the places for the house. Si nos fijamos, aquí hay una palabra yard. Yard, what is a yard? Patio. Uh, patio. Patio trasero. Okay, no, no, no. Patio no, trasero. Patio. Patio trasero es similar, pero vas a ver la palabra back. Backyard, patio trasero. Si solo ves yard, es de adelante o a veces le ponen front yard. Uh -huh. la, el patio de, en, adelante o atrás. Atrás normalmente lleva la palabra back. Backyard. Okay. So here are the different rooms for the house and the apartment. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a ver? Vamos a ver cómo describimos estas cosas. Ok. So, let's see. Here. Ok. Aquí podemos preguntar, what rooms are in your house? Ok. Or, we have the questions, right? Ah, my house has a bedroom, a dining room, and a kitchen. Or, my house has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, o lo que sea que tenga su cuarto o su casa, right? ¿Hay alguien aquí que vive en un apartamento? No, I don't. No, nobody. No, I am not. Okay, good, Victor, good. All right, normally in the apartments, en el primer piso es el lobby, right? Normalmente en el primer piso, lobby. ¿Qué es el lobby? Lobby es simplemente donde... Eh, recibe la gente, hay la sala común, cosas así. Ese es el lobby. Okay. So, we're going to look and practice the different rooms in the house. One moment. Okay. We're going to make some questions. Si ¿Sí? se acuerdan, questions with do or does. Que estas son las que son yes or no questions. Yes or no. The ¿Por houses. qué no? Porque la respuesta simplemente es yes or no. ¿Y cómo va a ser la diferencia? Ah, he, she, it, does. La pregunta va a ser does he, does she, does it. Lo demás van a ser do. So let's watch the video and learn. Okay. Let's watch this video. Hi everyone, in this class you learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. <clears throat> Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers I will... ok ¿Qué es lo que estamos viendo aquí lo más importante ah, que si usamos la pregunta does does la respuesta es does or does it lo mismo si usamos do vamos a poner la respuesta do or don't ok cuando usamos does does he does she does it I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Okay. Entonces, yes or no. Acordémonos de que he, she, it, does, 
or doesn't. I, you, we, they, do, or don't. Okay, these are the most important. I think that's it. Okay. So, ¿cómo hacemos la pregunta? Ah, do you live in a house? Do you live in an apartment? Okay. Simplemente, ¿qué significa el do? Do solo es un auxiliar. Si nos acordamos, ¿qué significa auxiliar? Solo es para indicarnos el tiempo. En este caso es presente. Right? And then we put the actions. It's okay. Yes, Mr. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Good. In this moment, we are going to practice this conversation with the partner. One time Linda, one time Chris. Primero, ¿hay alguna palabra que no conocen from this conversation with Linda and Chris? Any vocabulary? No, everything clear. Lake View. Lake View. Uh -huh. Is the name of the street. Correct, Victor. Is the name of the street. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa? The name? Vista Lago, pero solo es el nombre de la calle. Mm -hmm. Correct. Like Paseo General Escalón. Is the name of the street. La chultipan. It's okay. Okay. Okay, good. So we are going to practice with our partner. One time Linda, one time Chris, and then change Linda and Chris. Okay. The idea is practice the conversation. This is number one. Then, okay, we are going to answer this. But first, practice the conversation and then we practice the questions okay so in this moment the conversation in small groups is or... we have more people but i think the same groups or the same six groups ah, okay mm -hmm. getting getting Okay, you guys have problems connecting? Delia? Ana Melara? Juan? Mayra? Um, sí. ¿Qué pasó, Ana? No se pudo conectar. Hola. ¿Qué dijo Ana? No, es que dice que el internet es siempre. 
<ríe> perdón Ana, no se le escuchó nada. No me da para con... Okay, guys, did you have any questions? Yes. Yes, Rene. Big living room. What is the question, Rene? Yo, ¿cómo se, ¿cómo se pronuncia Lakeview? Así. Así es, Lakeview. Lakeview. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, Mayra. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. a question. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, en la última oración donde participa Linda? Donde dice apartment, bull, bull, building, que es lo último. Es... Apartment building. Apartment building. Building. Mm -hmm. Building. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, let's try now. Ya que vimos un poco cómo se hace la pregunta, vamos a ver si podemos hacerla nosotros aquí. Linda y Chris están teniendo una conversación. Nosotros le vamos a poner cuáles son los auxiliares y los verbos correctos. Por ejemplo, Linda, you in an apartment. Linda está preguntando, ¿qué sería lo correcto? Number one, two, three, or four. Number three. 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 Mm -hmm. Good, Chelsea. Okay, do you live in an apartment? What about Chris? No, I leave two number two number two no i don't i live in a house okay linda number four four okay does it have a yard mm -hmm. chris yes it does number one number, number one. one okay yes it does good linda that sounds nice you alone number one. Number I'm one. Sorry. Sorry. Do you live alone? Okay. Chris, no, I I with my family. Number, Number two. two. Number two. No, I don't. I live with my family. Linda. That sounds nice. Number three. Three. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Ah, yes, I. Mm, and number three. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. 
Huh? Yes, I have. Ah, yes, I, okay. So, number two. Number two, okay. Yes, I do. I have four sisters, okay. Really? Mm. Number one. Number one. Does your house have many bedrooms? Good. Ah, yes, it. Number three. Number three. Yes, it does. It has four. You, your own bedroom? Number two. Two. Do you have your own bedroom? Uh, Chris, yes, I. Number yes, four. I do. Number yes. four. Number four. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Hey, excellent. Excellent. All of those answers are correct. ¿Y cuál es lo más importante? Si se fijamos, siempre que hay I, no llevamos la S. Right? For I, you, we, he, I, you, we, they. Cuando tenemos he, she, it, por ejemplo aquí, it does. Lleva la S. It does. Lleva la S. Ok. Good job. Now we're going to learn vocabulary for furniture in the house. O sea, el vocabulario de cómo describir los muebles de la casa. We have a lot of furniture. Guys, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk. Sofa. Bookcase. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Rug. Television. Other. Okay. Antes de continuar, ¿hay alguna que quieren repetir? ¿Alguna que no les quedó claro cómo se pronuncia? Microondas. Ah, Microondas. Microwave. Normalmente solo se dice microwave. La palabra correcta, microwave oven. Microwave oven. Pero microwave. Oven. Microwave. Uh -huh. microwave. El primero, armchair. Casi, muy bien. Solo que la Arm, S. Armchairs. Correct. Uh, armchairs. Road. ¿Eso cómo se pronuncia, Mr. Road? Alfombra. No. Alfombra. Ah, alfombra. Ok. Rug. 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 Las otras están bien? La cocina. Uh -huh. Stove. 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 Uh -huh. Stove. Stove. Yep. Y ve, eh, la diferencia es dress, dresser y desk. O sea, este es como de dormitorio y el otro es como escritorio. Y el otro gavetero. Desk. Y el otro dresser. gavetero, exacto. Ah, okay. Dresser, okay, gavetero y desk, escritorio. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Curtain. Okay, the others okay? Okay, good. Let's continue. Okay. Chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. Okay, guess kitchen. Cocina. Cocina. Dining room. Sala. No. Comedor. 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 Dining room. Living room. Sala. Sala. 
Good. In bedroom? Dormitorio. Okay, good. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bathroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. Okay. Si fijan, a diferencia del español, solo usamos and al final. No, no vamos después de cada cosa. Ah, y, y, y. Ah, no vamos a decir. Ah, y tiene un sofá y una alfombra y una... No, solo al final se utiliza. Ok. This is for... My home. dining room has... After you complete this exercise. Ok. ¿Qué significa has? ¿No acordamos qué es has? Tener. Tener, yeah. exacto. Entonces aquí mi yeah. sala tiene. Mi dormitorio, eh, mi, eh, mi comedor tiene. Has. Y vamos a describir lo que tiene. Ok. So. Has. Entonces piensen un minuto. Pongan algunas ideas. Eh, eh, uh -huh. eh, My dining, di dining room. Dining room. Uh -huh. Has a table. Uh, three. Uh, excuse me. Four chairs. Uh -huh. en mantel. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah. Ok. Good. I put into the chat. I, I don't remember. Mantel. Okay. Mm -hmm. A picture? Mm. A mirror? No, not, not this. Mm, let me take a look. Very strange. Tablecloth, that's it. A tablecloth. Table, horse. Cloth. Cloth. Okay. There, table, cloth. Mm -hmm. Table, cloth, in table, yes. cloth. Uh, mirror. Correct, mirror. Mirror. Okay. Okay. Ahora póngame una oración en el chat. Quiero ver. Aunque eligen un cuarto y pongan lo que tienen. My bedroom, my bathroom, my kitchen, my living room, any room. And put in the chat. Let me see. What room, Victor? My bedroom, my living room, my dining room. Mm -hmm. A microphone. My bedroom, okay. okay no. My bedroom. My bedroom has a computer. Good, good. My bedroom has a sofa. Okay, good, Victor. Good. It's a big bedroom, man. Imagínese, Victor tiene un sofá ahí en el dormitorio. Sí. Big, a big It's bedroom. Good one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> My house has some pictures. My bedroom has a bed, a mirror, a chair, and television. Good, good, Mayra. And the television. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, se te olvidó la acción y se te olvidó poner qué tipo de cuarto. My room, a desk. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál room? My bedroom, my living room, my kitchen. ¿Y qué tiene? Tiene que poner my has. Right? My living room has a chair, television, and sofa. Good job, Ronnie. Pero acuérdate que cuando usamos a, no vamos a usar plural. Entonces vas a hacer it. 
my living room has chairs, television, and a sofa. No solo puedes poner tel chairs, television, sofa. Tienes que usar la palabra and en el último. Y a es uno. Y si en el caso que es plural como chairs, no vas a llevar a. Ok. My bedroom, okay. my bedroom has a small office. Good no. My kitchen has, acordate Juan, a stove, a microwave, and a refrigerator. Un, tiene una microonda, un refrigerador, un, a. So my dining room has a mirror, a lamp, and a television. Okay. Anna, my kitchen has a table, a microwave. Uh, Anna, remember, a microwave and a blender. Ya cuando es el último, vamos a usar a, ben, a blender. Ah, okay, Francisco, my living room has books. No tiene, no tiene donde sentarte, no tiene donde estar nada, ni tele, ni nada, pero tiene libros. Excellent, Francisco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Juan Linares, you have a question? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I can say television or TV is the same? Yes, the same is the same. The same, you can say refrigerator or fridge is the same. Refrigerator or fridge. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Una, una, una consulta. Yes, yes, Jose. Como escribo equipo de sonido? Ah, very good. Stereo. Yes. You can write a stereo. Okay. Stereo. Si, es, si es un stereo, si es para la tele o algo que se conecta, uh -huh. Entonces, es, se llama sound system. Es un equipo para amenizar fiesta. Ah, then, yes. Then a stereo. Uh, no sé cómo se escribe. Ay, no, sí, claro que sí. Todo está, está en el chat. Todo está en el chat. No ah, solo estéreo. Eh, solo estéreo cuando solo es independiente. Ajá. Sound system es cuando va conectado, por ejemplo, va a ir conectado a una tele, a un proyector, a una. Ya va conectado a otro equipo audiovisual. Ahí es sound sí. system. Podría pasar como un sound system entonces. Ajá, yes, a sound system. Como en el cine. En el uh -huh. cine, la bocina y la conexión es sound system porque va conectado a algo. Sí, este va conectado a la computadora. Ah, entonces, a los sí. micrófonos, a la televisión. En el hecho de que va conectado ya es sound system. Entonces sí. sería, bueno, en el caso mío es my living room has a television, a computer y la última sería an, and sound a system. sound system. And a sound system. Correct. Mm -hmm. Juan, did you have another question? Uh, no, teacher. Okay. Okay, good, good. It's clear. Okay. Okay, good. Silvia, my living room has a living a room, vale, que a television. Silvia, me puedes explicar un poquito qué quiere decir? Porque pusiste muy living room has a living room. Y después pusiste vale que a television. Silvia. Ah, perdón, teacher, se me fue. Era game. Juego. Ah, ok. Ok. Un juego, ok. Y, sí. y solo es, ¿verdad? Es un juego de sala y un TV. Ok, entonces va a ser my living room. Acuérdate que va a ser my living room. Ok. Has a. ¿cómo, ¿Qué es lo que tiene? PlayStation, creo que es. Ajá. Uh -huh. A PlayStation. And a television. Y dijiste es juego de sala, ¿correcto, Silvia? ¿Cómo decimos juego de sala? Armchairs. Armchairs or. Sofa, ¿verdad? Porque el, así como en español, el sofá es el largo y armchairs es solo para una persona. 
Ok. Ok, good guys, very good. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a practicar? Vamos a practicar por lo menos tres cuartos más en nuestra casa y vamos a describirlo. Acuérdense, ¿cuáles son las dos claves que tenemos que usar? La palabra has, porque tiene. My bedroom has, my living room has, my kitchen has. Lo que tiene, ese es lo número uno, la clave has. Y la segunda clave es que siempre utilizamos a para una cosa y si es plural, por ejemplo, chairs, ok, books, diferente cosa, cups, no va a llevar a, ok, el a es un para el español, entonces, ah, yo tengo una refrigeradora, a, a refrigerator, a TV, y si tengo varios, a, ah, I have chairs, tables, sofas, así. It's okay? Okay, let's practice yeah, the speaking. Okay. Now is practice the speaking with our partners. Okay? Tres cuartos, vamos a describir por lo menos tres cuartos en nuestra casa, lo que tienen. No se le olviden usar and ya en el último, ¿verdad? Ta, 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 y and y la última cosa que tienen. Okay. Ronnie, any questions? Delia? Any questions, Ana? Noe? No se pueden unir, Ronnie, no te puedes unir.
How do you say almohada in English? Excellent question. Almohada pillow. is called pillow. Pillow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can sleep without pillow. Oh, I don't, me, I don't use pillow. I can sleep. I have four pillows to sleep. <laughs> I have zero pillows to sleep. Oh, <laughs> I feel weird when I go to bed and I have and I don't have pillows. No, no, no. I feel I know. I feel pillow. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I feel uncomfortable. I prefer natural. Mm -hmm. Una piedra me pongo ahí para estar ahí. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, yo si no tengo unas cuatro almohadas o una por lo menos no puedo dormir. No consigo sueño. Ah, ok, ok. Vale, vamos a ver si lo estamos haciendo bien. Cada quien va a dar un ejemplo de, de lo que hicieron con el grupo. Vamos a ver. Sochi, give me one example. Ok. My bathroom has mirror, a toilet, and shower. Ok. ¿Cuántos espejos tiene? Oh, sorry. One. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Para eso practicamos, para estar seguro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, good. Good, Sochi. Good. Jose, give me one example. Jose Wilfredo. Jose Wilfredo. Uh, my house uh, uh, se me cruzó la información. Tengo cuatro cuartos, ¿cómo digo eso? Uh -huh. Vaya, my house has, lo mismo, my house has four, four rooms. Rooms. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, uh, uh, ¿qué tiene? ¿Cómo se dice patio? Se me olvidó. Yard. Uh, and yard. Y estoy rodeado de vegetación, eso no sé cómo se dice. Ok, ¿cómo se dice vegetación? Suena casi como en inglés. Is around by, by. Ahí está en el chat. Ahí está en el chat. Vegetation. 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 Ajá. Vegetation. 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 Ok. Uh, y rodeado es surrounded. Surrounded, surrounded. surrounded with vegetation. So random beef vegetation. Okay. All right. Good, good, Jose. Juan Linares, go. One example. Okay. Uh, my room has a TV, a mirror, and some pictures. Okay. Good. Muy bien. Usando la palabra some. Es para el plural. Very good. Very good, Juan. Mayra, okay. give me an example. My living room has a sofa, a uh, archers, a lamb, a television, and some uh, no, stereo and rope. rope. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál era la última palabra, Mayra? Alfombra. Ah, muy bien. La pronunciación, rug. 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 Ok, good, good. Delia, go. My chicken house. Wait, wait. Microwave. My... Delia, Delia, get a chicken, get a chicken. Cocina. <laughs> ah, ok. Ese es kitchen, porque me dijiste mi pollo. Mi pollo tiene, me está diciendo. Entonces, my kitchen, my kitchen. Excuse me. <laughs> no, no, it's ok, it's ok. Para eso practicamos. <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> my kitchen. <laughs> Make it mm -hmm. a, a Microsoft and Creator Store. Okay, Delia, microwave. Eh, me, ya no le gustó que la corrigiera, se me fue. Mire, yeah. mire, Bárbara, Bárbara, Delia. Okay, Victor, Victor Loza. Hi. Well, my house has three floors. And also have a garage, a living room, a dining room, two bathrooms, a small 
jar eh, and a little roof. Una como azotea. Okay. All right. And, and my, my bedroom have a has sofa, has a sofa, a bed, a, how do you say closet? Because a, closet a closet is in English. Mm -hmm. Closet, right? A yes, closet. <laughs> in English, yes, two, yes. Two windows, two doors, and I have a small mirror, a fan, a zapatera, no zapatera. Uh, a shoe rack. A shoe rack. And a and a small a small radio like a alarm clock alarm alarm clock. Okay, good, Victor. Thank you. Very nice. Good. All right. Good job, Rene. Give me an example. Hi, my my house it has uh, three rooms and. Uh, and the yard, the big yard. Um, I have sofas. I have fans. Uh, they have fans, the uh, television, and the kitchen. Okay. Good. Good job, Rene. Nice. Ana Melara. My room has a belt. A mirror, a closet, a zapatera, me dijo que se decía, shoe rock. Shoe rock, lo voy a poner en el chat. Uh -huh. En TV, y el tocador, pero no, no sé cómo dice tocador. Ah, ok. Dresser. Dresser. Uh -huh. Ana, acuérdate mm -hmm. que en inglés tenés que decir específicamente cuál cuarto, porque cuando decís mi cuarto no es como en español. Mi cuarto no se entiende que es tu dormitorio. Se entiende que es un cuarto. Puede ser la sala, un cuarto, el comedor. Entonces tenés que decir my bedroom. My bedroom, my living room. Okay. Igual cuando, por, cuando, por ejemplo, José y creo que eh, Víctor, los dos dijeron eh, my house has three rooms. En inglés son tres cuartos, no tres dormitorios. Three rooms significa una sala, un comedor, una cocina y un dormitorio. Ya, o sea, esa es la okay. diferencia. Room es cuartos, no son dormitorios. Thank you, Ana. Very good. Remember, bedroom. Okay. All right, we're going to pause there. Eh, no sé... Si hay alguna pregunta, alguna, alguna duda o algo. Good night, Sochi. Uh, si hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta antes de irnos. No, no. Ok, yo veo que ya la hija de Sochi ya la está presionando. Ahí la tenía ya ahí, pero ok. All right. <ríe> All right, guys. Acuérdense que la diferencia, solo un tip, es que rooms... Son cuartos. Entonces, por ejemplo, la cocina es un cuarto, el bedroom es un cuarto, el kitchen es un cuarto. Entonces, cuando a diferencia es, ah, nosotros en español, bueno, nosotros en El Salvador, ah, ¿cuántos cuartos tiene? Nosotros entendemos dormitorios, pero en inglés no. En inglés, ¿cuántos cuartos? Incluyen todo. Te dicen, ah, tenemos cinco cuartos. No se vayan a dejar engañar. No son cinco dormitorios, son cinco cuartos. La sala, el comedor, la cocina, el baño y un dormitorio. En ese okay. caso sería my bedroom. My bedroom. Uh -huh. Y incluso, por ejemplo, si tiene tres dormitorios, three bedrooms. Bedroom. Exacto, three bedrooms. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.